virtual classrooms have been quite popular among Glow teachers for sharing links to their class. Um, people are using PowerPoint and ThinkLink and other tools to make sort of graphic representations of their classrooms. This is how you might do it in Glow blogs. Uh, for the blogs, you need to have an image created for your classroom. Most people have a sort of skeuomorphic um, picture of a classroom with different areas in it to click on. Uh, being slightly more graphically challenged, I have made one that is less realistic looking, but the, the process is the same no matter uh, what you're doing. So you create your graphic. In this case, I've used Keynote. You could use PowerPoint or a, a graphics application. And then you would log into your blog. And in the blog dashboard, the first thing you need to do if you haven't done so is go into plugins and activate the draw attention pro plugin. Once you've done that, you will see in the sidebar a section called draw attention and you can choose add new to add a new image. This is the the one here, so I'm just going to call this classroom. And the first thing I need to do is upload an image. I can see there's a lot of settings where I can change color and highlights and other things like that, but pretty much I'm going to ignore those for this um, process. So I'm going to click upload image and then look for the image I've made and upload that. So I've uploaded my image. Now at this point I need to save a draft so that I can then work with the image. So I'm going to click save draft up here. And this adds a section at the bottom, hotspot areas, and it's added the first one in there. So if I open that up, it shows me the image. And what I can do then is go over the, the sections here and add links to the sections, hotspots and links. So I'm going to add a hotspot and then a link. Now, all I do to do this, I've got literacy groups in my green group. I'm clicking to add a dot, clicking to add another dot, and a third one. And you can see as soon as I've got three, it makes a shape. But I can click and drag that out to make uh, a square or a rectangle. Uh, I could add other points and make different links as well. And down below that section, there's a title. So I'm going to put green group. And the action is set to show more info, but I'm going to go, go to URL. And I usually find it better to have the pages in tabs so that I can go over to the page I want to link to, copy that, come back to my image and paste in the URL and I can choose to either open a new window or not, in this case not. And then I would just go on and add another area. And this, you can see green groups, the first one, the second one's here. So not surprisingly, I'm going to add an area for my blue group. And again, I've got that page open in the tab and it doesn't need to be a page in your blog. It could be any other kind of page you want to link to. I go back to edit image, title, action, go to URL and paste URL in. Then go down and add another image and I just keep on working to go through all the different images. Now, some of them I might want to do slightly different things. 
for instance when they click in my face I'm going to put in Johnson's the title and I'm going to change the action to show more information and what I'm going to put in there is you can get in touch in Teams or email me at uh, my email address and I'm going to make that a link so I'm just copying that and clicking make a link and it already knows to go mail to and my name so that gives my email and that's me done that one and I can go add another image so I can keep on going I can as well go up occasionally and I like to save a draft and I can also click preview which will open a new tab up and preview where I've got already so you can see if I hover over the green group it tells me hover over there and if I click on Mr Johnson it says you can get touch in Teams or email me it opens it up here now I prefer it to open up as a light box so if I then again preview that one you can see this one it opens up as a light box in the middle of the screen it's easier to see so I've now added quite a lot in fact nearly all of the areas I'm just going to add a last one so I click add another area scroll down and this time I'm just going to add one for our health and well-being Give it a title copy the link from a tab paste it and I do find it much more helpful to actually copy paste links because it's really easy to um, mess those up so now I've got all my links I can update that and if I click view image it will take me out to see what my image looks like there it is I've got all my links in place either external links or links to teams different places links to my groups I would give that a good check I can either use the link to that image in my menu system or if I want to make it appear in or on a page I go down to the right hand side there's this wee box method box that says copy short code so I copy that and make a new page or post so I'm going to make a new page And I'm going to paste that into the page and I can preview that and it shows me on my blog I've got the classroom fitted in there nicely on an actual page and I can put that in any page or post that I want to hopefully this has been uh, an understandable exercise it's a wee bit different than the way you would do it in PowerPoint I think once you get into the the speed of it it's uh, the, it becomes a wee bit quicker um, you need to make, separate your making images and the linking process but it's pretty straightforward and some people find these visual um, links more useful than just a list of links 
If you do have any questions or queries, you can get in touch with me through the Glow Help blog.